Most of us have had a plane trip we'd rather forget, whether it's been an annoying seat kicker or a rude passenger. Temper tempers, rather, can quickly explode. Tonight, tips on plane etiquette from the experts. Disturbing, disgusting and downright rude. Everyone is confined to a small space. The size of seats are getting smaller. We're all packed in. When you board a plane, it's just the luck of the draw who you're seated next to. We've all been there. The moment you get settled into your seat, you're excited for the trip ahead, but then you realise the person in front of you puts their seat right back, or worse, you're stuck with a seat kicker behind. Probably the worst experiences I've had have been kids kicking the back of your seat. I might ask to move seats on a plane if there was someone really drunk next to me or coughing and sneezing all over me. We all know the safety procedures, but what are the unwritten rules when it comes to minding your P's and Q's at 38,000 feet? Tonight, we ask the experts. Zarif Hardy is from the Australian School of Etiquette and Lisa Perkovic from Expedia. Remember, we're all confined. Everyone is in the same boat. It's not your personal lounge room. It's the little things that can make a difference to your trip and to someone else's. And it's the little things that can ruin it too. Passengers pulling out their phones to film and shame their fellow travellers. Here, people are getting far too comfortable, placing their feet on headrests, even using their toes to operate the touch screens. One woman cuts her nails. Another man uses clippers to shave his head head from the comfort of his seat. I think it's disgusting when people take their shoes and socks off on the plane and walk around in bare feet. I've had a lot of people that I would prefer not to sit next to, especially the ones that don't bother to shower. It's quite unpalatable. We asked our etiquette expert, is it ever OK to recline your seat? But look, on a domestic flight, let's keep the seat upright. And when you're international, please wait until the first meal's been served. Don't sit and recline as soon as you get up in the air. Can you find her another seat? Because I will not be verbally abused by this or anybody else. For those stuck in the middle seat, there has to be some perks. The middle person gets both of the armrests, the window seat gets the window armrest, and the aisle person gets the aisle armrest. And that's how it should go, no other way. No one wants to be an armrest hog when you're on a plane. Remember your personal space, other people's personal space. And when it comes to the tiny travellers, the responsibility lies with their parents. Whether it's screens, foods, games, books, take the lot of it. Because sometimes you've got to keep pulling it out to keep those children still and, um, and happy to stay in their seat. Otherwise, things could end like this. Tray tables become a blank canvas or for those still hungry, they're left to snack on someone else's meal. According to travel site Expedia's annual aeroplane etiquette survey, Aussies find the seat kicker and grabber the most annoying passenger, as well as the germ spreader who is visibly sick, coughing and spluttering, and drunk passengers are annoying too. When you're on an airplane in a confined space, it, it can get um, a bit stifling. When things escalate, they can get out of control. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I don't need you to speak to me like this. Do you understand? More than 20 members of the same family were booted off a plane on their way home to Melbourne from Bali last week. The drastic action after a confrontation over a fault with the in-flight entertainment screens. There's the lady that started the before. And when travellers aren't happy, we're not afraid to speak up. When it comes to seat etiquette, it turns out 20% of Aussies would be happy to tell someone to change their seat positions. Whether flying on a short or long haul flight, the advice really just boils down to one message mind your manners. So if people can just adhere to just our normal day-to-day -day etiquette rules or just niceties, then it just makes for a more pleasant experience. The way that you're able to help someone, pay it forward, start your trip on a nice note, have a good flight experience, definitely sets the whole tone for your trip.